A protest in Appleton is turning heads. Homes lining block after block on John Street, putting up signs worried possible road improvement costs there could send them to the poorhouse. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel is live at 6 with more. Raquel? Each sign posted along John Street has a dollar amount on it, and that dollar amount represents how much each homeowner would have to pay for the special assessment. It's a practice neighbors say it's time to get rid of. An $11,000 special assessment fee could force Judy Tyler to have to borrow some money or move. Since my husband died last year, my income has diminished, and it's pretty expensive. Work is scheduled to be done on John Street the next two summers, digging up old pipes, putting in new ones, and repaving, a costly project coming out of neighbors' pockets in a special assessment. We reached out to Appleton Public Works, who told us no design plans are finalized yet. But neighbors here on John Street putting signs out like this, hoping to stop the assessment practice altogether. It's just, it's just amazing the differences in how much some of us are going to have to pay. A difference between $5,000 and $13,000 for really no extra benefit. Homes on John Street want the special assessment to become part of taxes, but city leaders concerned staying in the city's budget and paying all road construction bills could take a toll on programs. We will have to figure out where that money is going to have to come from and, and what programs or services may end up getting cut. Tyler just hoping something gets done before it's too late. Right now, an analysis is being done to determine how else the city could finance neighborhood street construction costs. It's expected to be completed in about a month. Raquel Amel, NBC 26.